Good morning on March 6th. This is live event for myfibromyalgiarelief.com. Um, in this uh, little session here, I'm going to assume that you understand how to use the ICE method and you're familiar with it. If you're not, you can go to myfibromyalgiarelief.com. I have lots of videos and information there introducing you um, to the ICE method and the enormous difference it can make for emotional and physical issues. Um, but in this video, I want to develop a little bit more what I began last week, which is um, that I, I realized in reading Bruce, Bruce Lipton's Biology of Belief that the cell membrane not only responds to peptide information, okay, and that's how we've stored our life history through peptides in our brain and in our body, that cells and the way they operate, they respond not only to those peptides that have been stored or created in the present, but there are also receptors in the cell membrane that respond to, for instance, sound. But what really triggered me was to wave energy. So if you start to think about the quantum field, <clears throat> quantum energy, everything is energy. You and I are energy. Everything we see is energy. And because we are observing it, it collapses into a material form. And this is very different from the way that you and I understand, typically, the world. When I'm looking out the window at the trees there, those are material things that I can push against, and they're solid, and they weigh something, and they have mass, and that's what they are. But on another level, beyond this visual you know, sensing way of understanding things. That tree out there is a blob of energy, a certain um, confirmation of wave energy that when I look at it with my eyes, when I touch it with my hand, I get the sense that it's a mass and that I can treat it that way through the laws of Newtonian mechanics and build all kinds of things like bridges and cars and toasters and that there's a predictability to viewing the world that way. But in the early 1900s, scientists realized, wow, energy and mass are related. Uh, Einstein's equation, the energy is just the mass times the speed of light squared, that there's a direct relationship between this mass and energy. And that energy, it comes in waveforms, and waves carry information. And information in waves is not bound by time or space. Okay, when I first became aware of these things you know, many years ago, they were just like fascinating things, but they weren't like part of my daily life. And over the years, they have become more and more part of my daily life. And now, this new awareness and realization for me about how cell membranes operate really moves this forward a lot. Okay? First, I want to tell you that the ICE method wasn't developing out of quantum awareness. It started out just with tapping, with EFT, and it was making a difference for people's pain levels going down, for them feeling more calm and relaxed. And then I realized this whole thing about peptides and how they store the information of our life and how we can actually calm them through past history and have an effect on the way we feel in the present. Then at some point I realized when you're out in that calm space, it's as if you have access to the quantum field, to all that is, you know, the spiritual space. That when you observe nothing, right, which means you clear the space of everything that has this material aspect, you get to observe nothing, which in some sense is the spirit or the field of life. And then a week ago, reading Bruce Lipton again, something I didn't see the first time. The membranes of the cells that we know respond to peptide information also have receptors on them for wave energy. And this explains so much. You know that that feeling when you open up to the calm space is really rather subtle, isn't it? And you don't notice it until you kind of drop away from all of this stuff that's going on in this simple little process of observing a single point 
which actually begins to allow the mind to focus specifically on a single thing instead of all the reactivity of your life, right? The issues from the past 20 years or what's going on in your face right now, the conflicts at the job or financial issues or whatever they are. Can you observe that second point? The body calms enough that you can actually observe the space that has nothing in it. And I've been understanding that it's just like, okay, all these peptides are not pounding on you, which I believe is true. So that then you automatically create a peptide that corresponds to not being pounded on, which is calm and peaceful. But the realization that cell membranes respond to waves, that they respond directly to the quantum field, that when we observe nothing, we observe there's nothing to react to, we actually become aware and able now to consciously receive that information from the quantum field. That really changes things that we then are becoming this hooked up and connected to all that is, okay? So when you move into the calm space and you observe nothing, non-attachment, I mean, these are the spiritual words of the past, of the Eastern tradition, non-attachment, awakening, enlightenment, awareness. Those are words that they use all the time. And that the process of meditation, that process of discipline, allows a person over time to become non-attached. The ICE method, moving the two points and moving into the calm space in a very quick way in this immediate moment to become non-attached. And then you go back to your attachments and then you realize that and you come back and become non-attached again. Now I still end up attached to things, but when I do, I recognize it and I come back to become non-attached again. Okay, it's not like I'm non-attached all the time like an enlightened person. But I think it's worth realizing that when you move into that space between points, in that space that has nothing in it, for a moment, in that space, you are experiencing non-attachment. And when we become non-attached, then we can actually become aware of that subtle feeling of the quantum field. We can become aware, not just that it's nothing, the absence of all these peptides, but that it's something that we are aware of coming into us. The energy, the information of the quantum field which carries all of information of all of time and all of space. Wacky but true as best scientists understand this. So we become aware. And as we spend more and more time in this state of non-attachment, and awareness, perhaps we begin to awaken. Now, I don't know what that is. Perhaps we begin to become enlightened. I mean, the, the things that have constrained us, these peptides, as they fall away, as they no longer constrain us, that we develop this freedom to be in the presence of the field, it seems to me we move more and more in that towards an awareness of enlightenment, okay? And it becomes possible for me to understand these people who are enlightened is the things have dropped away. And they have access to that field or an awareness of that field on pretty much a full-time basis. But that has become their state of being. What I'd say for myself is that over these past two years of using the ICE method, I've certainly moved from a state of mostly living in reactivity to what's going on around me and to my history to a state of mostly not being activated by those things going on around me and mostly in a state of calm. And now becoming aware that not only is that a state of calm, non-reactivity to things around me, but it is a state of receptivity to that which is beyond time and beyond space and completely connected. In the spiritual traditions, they call this an awareness, right, of the oneness of all creation, an awareness of the oneness with all other people, 
an awareness of there can't really be anything wrong with me as an individual because I'm part of this whole thing as well. A full acceptance of self. And I do feel that that's the way the movement tends to be going. I've always been, you know, ever since I became aware of the word enlightenment, it's like a scary word to me to claim that word. But I do feel that there's a direction that makes that feel like it's making more and more sense to me. And I'm very interested in this path. I'm very excited to have discovered in the reading of Bruce Lipton something I hadn't noticed before. You know, why do things come up at a certain time? Why did this show up now? Clearly I'm very excited about it, so maybe it's just the time that's right and I'm ready. But that not only do we respond to peptides, and that totally excited me when I discovered that. And I've been living on that for the last couple of years and developing the ICE method around that. And helping us to become non-reactivity with amazing results for our physical health, lowering pain levels, and our emotional well-being. But now to discover, wow, each cell member in each of the 50 trillion cells in the body, it functions according to input from the quantum field, from that which is timeless and spaceless and eternal and carries all the information of everything that ever was. And we have receptors that are tuned to that. You know, how much of it do we get? I have no idea. But they are tuned to that field. And that to me is an amazing um, realization. So I wanted to share that again, get that down kind of in this new piece of it because I know I'm going to want to come back and look at this a year from now and see well, what was I looking at it like then and how has it changed. So for you who are sharing in this journey, thanks a lot. I um, hope you're enjoying this and uh, I hope it's making a difference for your physical well-being and your emotional well-being as well and your development as a human being. All right. Thanks a lot.